Hello and a very warm welcome to all the listeners. Today, the topic that we are discussing falls under facility planning and the topic is concept and purpose of blueprints. My name is Chavi Sahai and I work as an assistant professor at AISSMS College of Hotel Management and Catering Technology. So the learning objective for today's session would be that we learn about the concept of blueprints and secondly, we learn about the purpose of blueprints. Why do we have blueprints in the first place? So first we come to the definition of blueprint. What is that we understand? To put simply, a blueprint of a building will be a series of drawings, not just one drawing, which will show you the layout of various parts of the building. Things like uh, the rooms, since we are talking about the hotels, their size, the shape of doors, windows, and every other detail that you can possibly envision. The better the blueprint, eventually the structure of the building would come out like that. So for any exceptional building that you must have seen in terms of landmarks or great hotels, we would all have had a good blueprint before the construction started. So first, we'll come to the blueprint concept. What do we understand by it? Since we are not going to be studying it in a lot of detail, like the architecture students, to just to briefly understand, a blueprint uses uh, lines, numbers, symbols, etc., to convey the meaning to the readers. People who are going through the blueprint or studying it will, since the symbols are generic in nature, everybody understands them. So it conveys the detail of the blueprint to the person who's reading it. Usually the architect prepares a blueprint and uh, he conveys all the details to the draftsman who in turn makes it. Mm -hmm. And the blueprint will have the details as per the choice of the promoter or the person who's sanctioning the making of the building or who's undertaking the construction of the building. So the architect prepares it and he conveys it to the draftsman. Next, what are the things that we include in a blueprint? First, it will have a site plan, complete land that is falling under the purview. How are we going to build the entire site on it? So first thing that the blueprint includes is a site plan. Secondly, it will tell you the front and the side elevation, as in how tall the building would be eventually after it's constructed from the front, from the back, and from the sides. Then it will have all the floor plans of all the floors that are there in the hotel. So seeing the blueprint, you can envision the entire hotel property. It will give you the details of all the guest rooms and bathrooms with all the specific dimension. Generally, the unit that is being used is a square feet. It will give the details of all the firefighting measures, like where the water hydrants would be, where the sprinklers would be placed, will we have smoke detectors in all the room, minute things like that. Then it also gives us the air conditioning details for guest rooms, for public area because all these things are to be planned before we start the construction because they cannot be included later on. That is why blueprint, a clean blueprint or a clear blueprint is very important. Next, why do we undertake the blueprint? What is the purpose of the blueprint? First, it is the starting point of any building activity. Before you start thinking about constructing a building, you go ahead and first prepare a blueprint. It is the first talking point between the owner, the person who would eventually own the building and the architect whose service we use for preparing the blueprint. It gives all the detailed information to various contractors, laborers who would be working on the site so that we can construct a building according to all the specifications as per the architect. Then people like plumber, electrician, gas pipe mechanics also use the blueprint to make sure that while everything is being laid down at the time of construction, later on it does not create a problem. 
the managers use these uh, specifications also to check whether the work has been done according to the specification or not blueprint is also used during renovation during refurbishment or redecorating of any area because we need to go back to the blueprint to make sure that can we break down a wall can we you know construct a new wall things like that have to be gone to we have to go to the blueprint to check and then we can proceed also it helps in determining the manpower requirements mm -hmm. like you see the blueprint how many areas are there that need to be cleaned so mostly from the engineering department point of view we need the blueprint but also to some extent in the housekeeping department because every area of the hotel needs to be cleaned and also it is used for the purpose of energy management in the sense because the blueprint gives us all the details of the heating ventilation etc so what would be our energy requirement we can get to know from the blueprint next we come to discuss the various types of blueprint there are a couple of types of blueprint because there's just not one document that we see in terms of blueprint so first is your plan view type of blueprint which gives you the detail of the entire plan second would be elevation view which will help you envision the structure of building after it is eventually constructed third is your detail view which gives you the detail of interior walls and things like that fourth would be a perspective view which can help you envision the actual uh, building after it's constructed in terms of model next is a section view which shows you the horizontal vertical or a cross section of the building so that if there are any flaws at the planning stage we can correct it next is your mechanical view which shows you all the plumbing electricity air conditioning things before the eventual final structure of building is constructed and next is a plot and survey type of blueprint which surveys the entire plot or the land that we have acquired to construct the building and it shows you the blueprint in terms of the land that we have acquired so we'll discuss them one by one first is your plan view type of building it shows the top view of the building that is very important so all the types of blueprints show you a different section of the building or the different structure of the building so that at the planning stage we can find out whether it will work or not it is used to show the various room layouts the plan view shows that and also it is used for the calculation of various utilities like electrical outlets security alarm system and heating ventilation air conditioning etc here is an example of the hotel de soleil in florida which shows the blueprint shows the plan view of the building okay of a particular floor they have shown a second level floor because blueprint is in a lot of detail so it will show you all the sections once the entire blueprint if you go through it so it is just one second level second floor that they have shown here next type of blueprint we move ahead to the elevation view elevation view shows you the structure of the exterior of the building that is the outside facade that you see in any building it also shows you the material that will be used in constructing the walls and the balcony areas and things like that so if you see a contrast by balcony in a building compared to the color of the entire building all that gets decided in the elevation view blueprint it also shows the effect of the balcony like how protruding will it be how will it look once you see it standing down in the entire structure so all that is shown in the elevation view and if any changes are needed we go ahead and do that is an uh, drawing showing you the elevation view at how do we go about that one of the structure shows you the side elevation then the next one is showing the front elevation then towards the side one section then in the center it's the entire floor plan 
so we can get to see how will the entire building look once we check the elevation from all sides so next we come to the detail view type of blueprint detail view shows you the interior walls like the elevation sh view showed you the exterior walls here it will show you the interior walls the various location of equipments that you will be placing in the entire building then position of all the permanent assets anything that will get fixed suppose in the structure of the building there's a permanent staircase that is going to be there the central staircase in the lobby so things like that will be shown in the detail view type of blueprint to take an example here you must have seen this landmark building in dubai the abuj al arab so here in the detail view blueprint they must have envisioned the structure of the building see how circular semi circular it is on one side and straight on the other so at the time of the blueprinting stage this model would have showed you all the interiors how will we go about it how will we place the staircase and things like that next type of blueprint we move ahead to is the perspective view perspective view is done in three dimensional okay so you get to see how will the building eventually look you can envision it or you know uh, if there are any flaws you can rectify so it helps us in the visualization to give an example for that see here if you are seeing the uh, structure of a room you can see that where the furniture would be placed what kind of walls it would be it's not a real thing it's a model so perspective view blueprint helps you in seeing the, a room or a entire hotel in real perspective various trees and small cars are sometimes used to show it next we come to the section view type of blueprint where it will either show you a vertical or a horizontal cut view of a building it will also show you the various types of construction material that we will be using in preparing the building so once you do a cross section you will see the thickness of walls where the plumbing would be and things like that also it's in areas where the temperature is quite low in the hilly areas or the mountain regions what kind of insulation are we using in the wall construction so if you do a cross section it will show you that as well this type of uh, blueprint helps us in reducing the cost because we can envision beforehand what type of insulation or the thickness of wall is required so it helps us in reducing the cost in future to show you an example see here the building has been cut horizontally and we can see the section view uh, where the rooms are placed where the furniture would be so what would be the thickness of the wall what would be the wall separating various areas and things like that next we come to the blueprint which is of mechanical view mechanical view helps us in deciding the mechanical and electrical systems where are we going to place it in the entire building the fire fighting system that is there in the place it also shows us the air conditioning plumbing the cctv which is the closed circuit tv which is placed for security purposes in the hotel and fire hydrants and sprinklers etc so mechanical view gives us the mechanical point of view for the building an example of that though we are not able to really clearly decipher at this stage where is what it just shows you as an example that mechanical view is helping us to decide about the mechanical setting air conditioning etc next we come to the last type of blueprint which is a plot and survey view it is prepared by the registered surveyors which will be government employees here in india who will go and survey the building and prepare a blueprint of the entire land that is being used for this construction of the hotel and it also shows us the legal boundary of the entire plot last we come to the term cadd which is being used in preparation of blueprints since 
technology is all pervasive it is there in all the spheres of the life right now so instead of preparing the blueprints the traditional way nowadays cadd which is computer aided design and drafting technique is being used it is a fairly new technique in terms of blueprint it is very cost effective for drafting and designing the building because you can make changes only at the computer stage only you don't have to include any handwork before we proceed so computers help you in designing and drafting also the time that you require to prepare the blueprint is much faster and any changes that you do also you can see it quite faster so this is cadd in terms of blueprint we come to the end of this session i would like to thank you all for listening in please follow the link which i have given in the description box and attempt the quiz on the topic of blueprint i would also like to give credit to the following sites i have sourced some information that i used in this presentation from these sites thank you all i will see you in the next session that we have for facility planning